Hey guys, so I just want to make a video on a quick update because I'm actually finally super excited uh, for anyone who's been following along. I've been having a couple issues with the Connect to the Mac feature, not in terms of it popping up with my Mac screen, but it remaining smooth for an extended period of time, really even just more than a minute. I couldn't do long video editing sessions solely because the mouse was just stuttering around too much and I couldn't tell if the variable was the headset or my computer because I am running developer betas on both of them. I'm happy to say that yesterday I just did the beta 2 update for 1.01 or two, uh, whichever the latest developer beta for the Vision Pro is, as well as for my Mac. Uh, I'm running Sonoma 14.4, uh, whichever latest beta of this as well. I just did the restart, and I am super excited because I've been editing now for uh, even just 15 minutes, and playback and everything is just crazy smooth. Uh, I've had no mouse jitters. That's really, really nice. The other thing I've noticed when I connect it to the Mac screen is actually something that Joey Helms texted us about after doing the beta update yesterday as well. The expanded window is sharper since the update. I noticed that immediately too. Now, it's been a couple days since I've done the extended because I was having those jittery issues. From what I can tell, my Mac screen actually looks way, uh, just clearer all the way around. A small little bug that I'm having is input temporarily not working, um, except that's not really the case. I don't know if it's talking about my speed editor. I really wish I had pass through for <laughs> my screen desktop. Oh, there it is. Uh, so I think my speed editor died, which is why I'm getting that. Um, but man, yeah, real life, messy desks. Let's go back to full immersion here. This looks way better. But yeah, I agree with him that the Mac screen looks sharper. Maybe they extended kind of foveted uh, rendering to where it's a larger area that is sharper. Uh, I really think that could be a refinement they've done because it feels really good looking at it. Uh, compared to looking at a real physical monitor, it kind of just felt kind of more tunnel visioned before. So now it feels like a wider area is sharper. So that feels really nice. Uh, the Juno app also just got an update today uh, for YouTube. I did a video on it yesterday. It definitely feels a bit smoother. Uh, I don't know if it goes from not a buy to an instant buy. A lot of my feelings probably remain the same from yesterday's video. Uh, it's still missing some key features, but he's definitely working on adding them more. And remember, it's an independent developer. So, uh, you know, five bucks can go a long way to someone like him. The App Store also seems to be getting a good what's new section. And slowly things are starting to happen where I'm seeing more and more interesting apps, not just, you know, $10 calculator apps. This is already starting to become an amazing new workflow. Really, Michelle came down before and was like, are you ever going to hook up your monitors again? And to be honest, I... Hadn't really even thought about missing it the past two weeks. So there you guys have it. Quick little update on uh, stability and improvements for the Vision OS. See you guys in the next video.